Welcome to the Nation Newsroom. I'm listener Wishit Sarasat. We're back with today's news headlines. Thai court sentenced an Australian author in three years imprisonment on charge of limajest on Monday. The court's ruling came as Harry Nicoletta's 41 pleaded guilty on the charge. He wrote a novel in 2005 which concerned royal activities. Nicoletus was initially sentenced to six years in jail, but the punishment was reduced to three years as he pleaded guilty. The court said it decided not to suspend the penalty because the defendant who was an author disseminates Le Majest information in his book. ABC News Online. reported on Monday morning that Nicoletus was led barefoot into courtroom 811 in the Bangkok Criminal Court, changed by the leg and the wrist to another inmate. In talking to reporters, he described the past four and a half months since, since he was arrested as an Alice in Wonderland experience. He said he was hoping to wake up from a dream and find it all gone. He was visibly emotional as he spoke, saying he wanted to make amends for his crime. Foreign Minister Kassit Piet Rome said the high presence of the military in the three southernmost provinces could lead to or create a negative perception of the country. He was worried that um, t uh, the violence plague uh, region will be viewed as an occupied territory. While acknowledging security concerns in this region, Gasset urged the governors of the three southernmost provinces and the southern border provinces administrative center to look for ways to help change that perception. Gasset said he was concerned that outsiders could equate the region to Gaza, a Palestinian territory recently invaded by the Israeli army. Local residents interviewed by the nation often complain about the high presence of the military in public domain. They suggest hotels and supermarkets be a demilitarized zone. Most well-paid people, well people are cautious about their spending and investment, a recent survey found. The findings come out at the time the world is reeling from global economic slowdown. All 447 rep respondents in the survey earn at least 75,000 baht a month. They are between 30 and 49 years old. Of those polled, 80.8% say their purchasing decisions are, amazed, are based on their needs and products utility. Some 9.7% of others are also weight for product prices to drop before they make purchases. Just 6.6% of those polled buy on impulse. And that's the Nation News headlines for today. Please visit nationmultimedia.com and click on Express for our compact newspaper. And please uh, visit us next time. Thanks for watching.